Last week, we made it to the Barry Islands, where we explored the beautiful blue hole at Hoffman Keg and dove some beautiful shipwrecks with our new budding divers. This week, we spent time up at Great Harbor Keg, relaxing, making great new friends, eating some fish that we were given, and also George catching his best fish yet, a beautiful hogfish. I told you, Daddy, I'm gonna marry you We'll chase the sun down and turn on the stars You hold the fire to the fuse on my heart Darling, we're moving and it don't matter where to Go tell you Fishy, fishy. That's, that's, that's what I like. They're everywhere. Oh, that one's huge. Yeah, that's a good one. Holy crap. Then we set sail for the beautiful Abaco Islands. We have been so excited to get here. That's been your favorite part, the boat? Um, <laughs> the boat. Yeah. Guess what? Hey, what? guess what? I love you. <laughs> love you! <laughs> if you had to say one thing that's been your favorite about this sailing trip, what is it? Been? Mama! Seeing the statue. The underwater statue is your favorite? Uh huh. What's your favorite thing? Sweet me. I know. Sweet me with me. <laughs> I do love snuggling you. Swimming with me? I think my favorite thing has been all the dolphins we've seen. It's been really cool. <laughs> at least 10 feet. This is the reef at Sandy Cay. It is known to be some of the most beautiful snorkeling in all of the northern Bahamas and we'd have to agree. It's really amazing to see such healthy beautiful reef full of so much life. It seems good luck's finally on my side. She pulls the sheets off of me every night. Whispers my name tells the sun to rise. Hey, she brings back to life really, really 
video amazing. Hey, see it? Did you make this, Grace? Can I see yours, Eleanor? Yes. Did Grace make that for you? What I mean, I was planning out to keep it forever on my neck. I love it, and this okay. you found it with the hole in it already, right? And I wanted to make it for a special <laughs> day for the friend. For what? For my, I wanted to make it for my best friend. For my dance, for my best friend. Who's your best friend? That girl? Yeah, that girl. It's like a California beach town. It's cool. It's just so weird. We are on our way to take the dinghy for about a mile ride to the north of us to um, some like ocean reefs because we are determined to spear some fish today. So that's the plan. We're gonna go do some spear fishing. I'm excited. I'm gonna catch a big grouper or a big hogfish and feed the family. <laughs> What's she doing? My book. It's my book. Um, my book. My book. My book. Trying to kill stuff. <laughs> Jesus. Awesome. Feel his big lip. He spam around just like that too. Feel how fat he is. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey, touch. Wow, that is a beautiful. Hey, touch. High, High five. Touch. High five, Mama. That was awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, we did it all together. That is hey. awesome. Yeah. Look at these. Oh. Nice. That fish was amazing, and it was extra good because you know that it's like George worked so hard to get that damn fish. <laughs> we all did. We all. Join effort. Well, yes, we did sit in the boat for a long time today. <laughs> and I found a spot, we found a spot. You're good. It was so good, there were so many huge fish down there that I almost felt like I wasn't supposed to be there. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I my head in the hole. That was just big enough for my head. Hi. And I saw him in there looking at me. You alright, honey? Tough, tough kids. Jeez oh, Louise. Um, I saw him in there looking at me. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna take this shot. Because I was scared that I wouldn't be able to get him out of there, you know? Definitely didn't want to wound him. Look up. Did not get him. Right. I, I got him right in the face, so I was able to, he swam right out of the hole. And then he was, he spiraled on my spear and he pulled, he pulled it and swam down. I was able to just kind of stick him with it to the ground and I just grabbed his eyes. And once I had his head, like he was, he was mine, he was coming with me. I was shocked when George, I mean, we had, he had been diving on the same spot, what, two hours, you think? So George just kept diving and diving and looking at how the maze and trying to, like the maze of caves underneath. And then he comes up and I knew he had a fish because of the way he was swimming towards the boat. And he put it in the boat and I was like, wasn't expecting that. It was huge. A man. <laughs> That's all we have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching and an extra special thank you to our patrons. Your support means so much to us. If you want to learn more, click the link below. Join us next week as we head to Hopetown and do some K-hopping in the Abacos. Yeah,